As promised in the last video, here is a review of the final and fourth volume of Lawrence Durrell's Alexandria Quartet. It's called uh, Playa by Lawrence Durrell. Uh, uh, Playa opens with uh, several years having passed since the uh, events of the first three volumes. Uh, Darley, the narrator who uh, we met but remained unnamed in, um, in the first volume, is living on a Greek island with the six-year-old illegitimate daughter that Nassim fathered with Melissa. And after running into Balthazar and his interlinear, which I mentioned again in volume one, uh, he eventually heads off for Alexandria again with the child, both full of trepidation and anticipation uh, about the past and the people that he knew there. When Darley arrives in Alexandria, almost immediately he runs into his old artist friend, uh, Clea, and uh, you know, reignites their uh, affaire de cour and consum consummates a a formerly platonic relationship. Now that their circle of friends is unencumbered by the prince, uh, by the presence of Melissa, who is of course uh, died of tuberculosis, and Justine, who is under uh, house arrest for the duration of the novel, uh, presumably because of the gun running scandal uh, her husband might have been involved with. It doesn't really say that much about the, uh, I mentioned the gun running scandal in volume three, uh, my review of volume three, I should say. Um, it doesn't really mention anything that much about Nassim and Justine, other than the fact that you don't hear or see much of them because they're under house arrest. Uh, more than in any of the others, this novel has um, a lot of metafictional aspects in it. It has meditations on art and creativity and the novel itself. What does it mean to be a novel? What does a novel produce? Um, especially as revealed in Perce Warden's letters. Uh, Perce Warden, be a no being a novelist himself, he's really interested in questions of aesthetics and creativity. And some, uh, some of Clea's ideas about painting of course, uh, being a painter, she would uh, have many. Uh, all of this, uh, as always in this tetralogy, uh, are tied in beautifully with Balthazar's early analyses um, shot through the interlinear. Uh, reading these four novels has been really one of the more powerful set of reading experiences that I've recently had, and maybe one of the more powerful that I've ever had. Uh, most readers probably won't enjoy this, to be very honest with you. Um, if you admire writing, however, that tries to capture the uniqueness of sort of inner coruscating experience and the complexities of passionate romantic relationships and uh, realizes the inability to uh, tell the whole story, um, even after nearly 1,000 pages of trying. I hope you will appreciate these four sibling companions, uh, sibling novels, as much as I have. Um, as I said in my review, I simply have run out of things to say and, uh, in, in order to gush about these novels and about how much I really, really loved reading them. So I think sometimes admiration just has to end in silence so that's where I'll let it rest I did want to add um, that I'll be I mentioned uh, the BBC story in my review of volume 3 but I'll just say a word about it uh, here just in case you didn't see that review um, the BBC did a wonderful wonderful 30 minute story uh, on Durrell and uh, Durrell, I should say. I'm so used to calling him Durrell. Uh, on Durrell and why he's been 
possibly forgotten why he's not as popular as he was 40 or 50 years ago. They talk to scholars, people that have studied him, uh, friends, family members that knew him while he was uh, still alive. And uh, most of it revolves around the Alexandria Quartet, but they also talk a little bit about his travel writing and uh, his other writing in general. But I thought it was a really, really well put together story. And if you're interested in Durrell as a writer, or in these four novels in particular, you know, the BBC does wonderful work. So um, go ahead and give that story uh, a look and uh, let me know what you think about it. Lawrence Durrell's Clea. A really wonderful end to uh, a really fantastic series of books.